Hello everybody. We're having another look at Elk Ridge. This is uh, an Elk Ridge folder, the ER052 hunting style knife. And possibly the knife with the worst fit and finish of any knife I've ever bought. Okay, so here we have the knife in the <coughs> brown Elk Ridge box, nice green lettering and logo. <coughs> the Elk Ridge ER052. First sight looks quite promising. This knife, I think, was £18. But when you look a bit closer, not good. Start with the sheath. For a knife in this price bracket, the sheath's quite reasonable. It's not the thickest leather, it's quite stiff, but the stitching's neat. It's got a welted construction um, and it's sealed with something that looks like melted caramel. There's no drain hole. And we've got a big press stud, popper, snap to close the sheath and the belt loop and the retaining strap are riveted on with quite nice flat rivets, no sharp edges. So far so good. But then the knife itself It's a nice design. Wooden handle, clip point, um, fairly standard design I suppose. We've got the double fuller detail there, adds a bit of visual interest. The handles are plywood. When I reviewed the Elk Ridge folder, the uh, a004 was it? I said that the those plywood handles were packer wood but then when I checked the model number it ended with SW so I think it's a different proprietary plywood I think it's stamina wood. It's quite a nice rosewood colour as before the the plywood is made of very thin layers and it's nice and rigid and straight and it does look nice Except it doesn't fit. You see along there, the handle is a good millimetre to a millimetre and a half short of the spine. There's gaps there, there's gaps there. If you look at the back, there's gaps there along each side and get your fingernail in. The bolsters are shoddy where they join. It's not flush at all. It's just very poor, the fit and finish. The blade's nice. I say we've got quite a big clip point. You may notice the tip is bent. It didn't come like that. <clears throat> what happened when I was taking these still photographs for the slideshow at the end? As the background had got one of the main armchairs downstairs, put a couple of extra cushions on it and thrown my jacket over the top to provide the background. And because the surface wasn't flat and rigid, the knife slipped off. So just under its own weight, it slid off the cushions and hit the laminate floor. A drop of 18 inches at the most. And it's bent the tip. That's quite disappointing. But it's a good shape. It's 440C with a hollow grind and a big swedge on the clip point. Came with a good edge.
not the best edge I've ever had out of the box, but far from the worst. Very, very clean. No burrs, no chips. Quite a big chunky knife. Handle length of four and three eighths, about 110 millimeters. And a blade length handle to tip of 120 millimeters, about just shy of four and three quarters. And it is, I would say, three millimeters thick. The handle is in nice shape ergonomically. We've got a couple of sculptured sections for finger grooves. I can get all four fingers on. We've got this forward choil but it's too small the diameter. When you put your finger in that corner digs in. So really you need to grind that corner smooth if you're intending to, to hold a knife like that. We've got two steel pins and a brass lanyard tube. That's quite a large diameter so you easily get doubled over paracord through there. So, last thing on the specs. The weight of the knife, 193 grams, or in English, 6.8 ounces. So, like I say, it's, um, it's a real shame because it's a nice design, it fits nicely in the hand, the balance point is just, if I can get it, it's just on the first half of the bolster. So it does sit well, but you've got these sharp corners where for some reason instead of the bolsters being flat on the end so that they meet at a nice 90 degrees, they've been machined over like that. So that gives you a corner there. Disappointing, I have to say. I'll show you uh, in the slideshow at the end, we've got some close-ups of the flaws in the fit and finish. Uh, another thing, the handle scales are different thicknesses. If you're right-handed, the palm side is quite a slim scale and the finger side is quite a bit chunkier. I really wanted to like this knife. It is a good looking hunting knife. And for the price bracket, the sheath isn't, isn't too bad at all. At least the knife fits snugly and you'll get a two inch belt through there. But when you examine it close up, the conclusion has to be shoddy. Thanks for watching.